Okay, today is Thursday, January 25th, 2024. Let me give you the rundown here and what's going on here on the farm. And what I suddenly just came to some possible actual realization here today. Something I have not been thinking about at all as being a possibility. We have June right here, our ram, I'm sorry, our ewe lamb. She was born March 6th, 2023. So she's still a lamb. We have Cash over here, born December 10th, 2022. He is now officially a sheep. We had Cash. Oops. We had Cash castrated mid July of 2023. When a lamb is castrated, they can still impregnate a female for, you know, about 30 days. <clears throat> which would put it at about, you know, mid-August. June has been acting very peculiarly the past many days. She continues to stand up on this bench right here. She is nesting in tiny spots like the dog bed back there. And when she lays down, she is laying literally sprawled out. And we've been actually joking recently saying she's obese. She's a big girl. She's chunky and yet all they eat is grass and hay and then i give them their little alfalfa treats at night to go to bed so we're not overfeeding them that's for sure from my seeings today with her ramming me not in an ugly way not in a scary way but almost in a she's trying to tell me something She's chewing a lot more. Look at her getting onto that stuff back there, chewing it. She's just acting peculiar. Never once did I think she could be pregnant, not once. I really did not think at all that she could be pregnant because of course we got him castrated. I didn't even look into how long lambs are pregnant for, but it says 159 days. Well, We'd be right about that 159 days, give or take that one month post being castrated via banded ring that he could still impregnate her. So all of this makes sense to me right now. Um, today, the biggest thing I saw was that she's breathing very rapidly today and it's a rainy day, we're not even doing anything. You see her breathing? And then you look at his breathing, and he's just like normal. Nothing crazy there. But she is now, as I'm beginning to do all this Google researching, <coughs> she's displaying all the symptoms of being not only pregnant, but possibly getting ready to deliver very soon. I even told myself, call me crazy. Maybe I am crazy. Maybe I'm hoping that's what it is as opposed to something else. I was worried this morning with her rapid breathing that it could be pneumonia or some sort of intestinal parasite, worm or something. Um, June has had no health issues. She's been a healthy lamb ever since we brought her home back in April as a little tiny young lamb. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm waiting to hear back from the vet. I have sent them pictures and video asking them what's going on with her. And um, uh, eventually I finally said, you know what? I think you need to come out here and, and just do an exam on her. And um, I'm not even sure they would need to give a pregnancy test at this point because I think she's about to have a baby. I think you're about to have a baby, June. Are you about to have a baby? Do you not know what's going on? She goes, I am so confused. I don't know what I feel. I'm feeling crazy. I'm feeling very big. I need to just keep stretching it out. June, June, my big pretty girl. Come here, honey. Come to mommy. Mommy loves my June. Come here, honey. Look, come here. She says, I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. I really do think she's, again, not only pregnant, I think she's about to give birth. She's nesting. 
When she lays down, she sprawled out, legs kicked out in a way I've never seen her kick out before. She's chewing on things she never chews on. She does have an increased appetite. She's more playful. She's a little bit more frisky. And he, Mr. Cash here, possible daddy, is a lot more protective of her. And considering he was castrated and I compared it to having a lobotomy, kind of lost his brain with losing his manhood. He is definitely right by her side. And uh, that's not unusual in itself. They're always with each other, but he's even acting funny. Oh my gosh. This is wild. I mean, I, I don't, I can't wait to hear back from the vet. I can't wait for them to come out here. I need, I need to figure out what's going on here. This is crazy. June, June. But I mean, look, can you tell the difference between their breathing? If she's not pregnant, there's still something going on. Uh, she's definitely breathing much, much faster and heavier than he is. I've never had a pregnant lamb before, so I have no idea, absolutely no idea what to expect. And as of today, I not once, and I'm telling you not once, thought, oh, she might be pregnant. We never even had the farm vet come back out and do a pregnancy test after he was castrated because we thought, eh, she not pregnant. I never did any research because I thought, well, it's not going to happen for us. Oh my gosh. O-M-G. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow.